Welcome to another episode of Eat Smoke Drink. Today I am reviewing the Holland Park 17 year old The Dark. The Dark. Now, I've always been cynical of Holland Parks that are distillery bottlings. Now, look, the super old ones I've had before and they have been phenomenal. Um, the young ones that you get in duty free and the normal ones you get in the 12, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm cynical about them. It's like, I think they're good for highballs, but I wouldn't sip them. I just don't think they're that good. Okay, if it offends you, then you can, you can shout out. No, I'm just kidding. If it offends you, hey, that's too bad. But at, at the end of the day, um, this is my opinion. Um, and Highland Park, by all means, is a great distillery. Independent bottles, fantastic. Single barrels, fantastic. But the distillery bottlings that are, you know, entry to mid-tier is a little bit shy, in my opinion. But someone gave us this as a gift um, and I wanted to review it because I thought it was worthwhile letting the world know what I thought of it. Okay? As you can see, the presentation is ridiculous. They could have reduced the price maybe by 50 bucks by not having a presentation box. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't even know how to open this. It's like a freaking, you know, it's like a fucking chastity belt, you know? Um, there you go. There you go. I'm going to open it so I can do stuff to it. There you go. Um, look at that presentation box. I mean, that is insanity. That is absolute insanity. For a 17 year old whiskey, they have this insane thing. They also have the, the light. So the series, they also have the light. But this is the dark. So I'm going to put this away because it's a little bit obscene um, and it gets in the way. Um, great bottling, the dark. You can't see through it. It's completely blacked out. Um, so I don't know. So I actually don't know how much is in it. Um, great metal accents, the pressed bottle, absolutely amazing, amazing um, packaging. I mean, you just can't fault the packaging at all. So, so yeah, look, um, great presentation, great bottling, um, absolutely amazing. Let's get tasted. Nice, rich in color. Um, although that doesn't really say much, but I would presume that this is not colored. Let's have a look. They make it sound like it's like limited edition. It's 28,000 bottles. It's not really limited edition, but let's see. Single malt scotch whiskey, 52.9%, 17. Now that's what I'm talking about. Because I find that normal distillery bottlings, they fail on the ABV. The complexity is not there. It's too young. It doesn't have enough complexity and flavor. Um, an influence on the barrel and then they sell it. Let's get nosing. Woo! That is like root beer. Root beer that's been smoked. Plum jam. Wow, that is excellent. I'll go back and say a mixed berry jam. It's got a dirtiness to it. It's got a dirtiness to it, like a, a muddiness to it, a leatheriness to it, slight smoke, which is to be expected from a um, Highland Park. A slight fungal note to it as well, like an oxidative fungal note. Rust. I'm getting a bit of rust on the nose, which is really strange. I, like a rust. Dark chocolate. Like a 80% dark chocolate. And a little meatiness. Can't put my finger on. A little meatiness. A little meatiness and fattiness, like a guanciale. You know, that black pepper, fat, little bit of meat, irony smell. Excellent nose. Very compelling, very intriguing. And certainly not your typical Highland Park. It's 17 years old, but the barrel influence is substantial. I'm not getting the New Mac spiritus smell. 
you know, that passion fruity banana smell. Excellent nose. Excellent. Let's get sipping. Now that, that is a Holland Park. The ABV is perfect. The ABV is absolutely perfect. I've got um, a cherry, a cherry cordial, a burnt sugar, burnt leather. You know when you put leather shoes on the fire and it's burning away, everyone's done that. Don't laugh at me, everyone's burnt leather. Mm. Slight fungal, shiitake mushrooms, heavy tannin. But I'm talking about dry shiitake mushrooms and the water that comes off it. Quite savory. Mm. <clears throat> An earthiness that I can't put my finger on. It's probably the mushroominess to it, fungal. Funky, slightly funky, old cardboard, old paper, like um, opening a chest that you haven't opened in years and it's got books in it. I don't read books by the way, but I can imagine that's what it smells like, I'm just kidding. I've opened chests of books before, that's why they're there, because I don't fucking read them. So books, chests full of books and blankets and cloth. Burnt sugar still on the palate. A burnt maple syrup. A little bacon, but the tannin is heavy. The tannin is heavy. Bitter oolong. Slight herbal notes to it as well. Rosemary, cloves, and a watered down coffee. Wow, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Complexity is fucking through the roof. It is through the roof. The ABV is perfect. It's perfect. It's just a little bit over the ABV where one would consider it smooth. <coughs> it's fantastic. It's great. Now, I haven't had the light. I'm going to try and source the light. But this is absolutely fantastic and i am surprised because when i see this and i see this presentation package for a 17 year old i'm thinking sucker sucker but it's not it's actually i mean this chastity belt is fantastic this is a chastity belt for a case uh, it's it's fantastic i think go for it um it's not the cheapest of all um but it is definitely worth it in fact, I would rather not have any distillery bottlings of Holland Park and just have this one if I could exchange it because I think that I always believe drink less, drink the best um, or drink less, drink better doesn't rhyme so I just had drink less, drink the best um, you know, because I'd rather have one dram of something good and compelling and sacrifice five drams of something just meh, you know um, that's just me though um, and I do it so I can prove to myself I can stop any time. Okay? Um, you know, I'm not addicted. So yeah, so that, okay, I shouldn't joke about that. Um, but yeah, no, I will joke about it. And screw you. So, in a way, I think it is a great bottling. Yes, buy it. Cigar pairings, I would say something light. Um, even though it is, it's not the most robust of all whiskeys, it's blended exceptionally well. Um, in my opinion, um, I think that something lightish um, would be good for it, something creamy and light, um, whatever that may be. I'm recommending one, I'd say a light Cuban, maybe a Bolivar, it's not so heavy and peppery. Um, I'd go for um, something like that, or uh, even a Cohiba would be quite good. Um, for New World cigars, I would say... Look, I would say a natural Fuente could be quite good, although they're quite strong general, but I think it still would suit. Um, it would be quite good for it. 
or a um, a Liga Provida under crown, one of those. Um, what's that white one? I forget the name, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about the the white one, um, the one with the gold and white label, um, the one that uh, LeBron James smoked. That one. Yes. So anyway, until next time, uh, make sure you eat, smoke, drink. Um, thank you very much for joining me today, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. I mean, look at that bottling. Look at that bottling. It's just amazing. Like the the detail, the the detail, it's just fantastic. I mean, they they would have had to, uh, obviously, you know, twenty twenty eight thousand of these bottles. I guess it's a big run for a bottle maker, but it's excellent. It's excellent, you know. Made with pride on Orkney. There you go. Um, cheers.